testing. All right. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, okay. Oh, good afternoon. Um, good afternoon, and uh, thank you for having me be here. Uh, for all of this, and for you also to be here, university administration, most of you are. Universities are gateways to the future. Be oh, I didn't read that right, sounds like I'm arguing. Universities are gateways to the future because they shape many young adults, shape them, and have, they then have jobs and positions of power. Okay, just uh, so, because we can change the world like that, we should focus on things that are the best things we can do. So, can we stop sex robots getting made and then popular? The one you actually do get actual use. Do you agree? Okay, uh, first bullet point. The world is already so embarrassing, why make it more? Uh, we already got data on what it's when Comic-Con guys get with body pillows. Turns out there's not even a science word for how sad that is. You don't have to use a word like suicide, uh, honestly, specifically suicide of someone productive which almost never happens, statistically. Um, now, here's an actual science illustration. I got a guy to do these for me. This university student after sex with a robot, a sex robot. See, he thought no one's gonna know. He knows, he himself knows what he did. And he thought it'd be just as gross. Um, is regular sex. Turns out it's more gross. Uh, you gotta clean or empty it. Next slide. Um, mm. Oh yeah, I got it over here. Um, in actual science, who wants, you always get the correct answer by following that's right, the do, re, me. Who wants to sell you sex robot for this? A little less, run, rent it to you, a half hour. And I think first place that might happen would uh, be Disney place. Uh, they get a robot, oh, what's her name? And there it is, the horror of Comic-Con guys lining up to drop virginity on poor Frozen there. Now we're gonna if, find a way to ejaculate in the same room, which is illegal for now. And next slide. This is what you are letting your students do every day. I've just seen it outside, it's disgusting. Because uh, every time they're using a gadget, these not very smart, frankly, university students are volunteering for another day of slavery to billionaires. It's so hopeless, I almost just want to say fuck them, to be honest, pardon my French, but anyway. All right, next slide. Here is proof of the idea that Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Pornhub, and Washington DC are all one big company, and you're just peasant with paycheck and tiny bedroom, which is what, like I have. Um, and now they want you to stand still and get oral from a robot. If these were the old days, like cowboy days, you would shoot them for insulting you like that. I got a clip, hold on. <laughs> and so I do, I went out on one of my investigation walks um, and look what it found, hold on. 
And so then your psychology department, lo and behold, is now saying it's good to f*** a robot. You get uh, to have no dignity, cardio, prostate, it's good for everything here. In all those rooms, they're writing that, and as soon as they say prostate, that's the magic word. This mysterious prostate that hovers over us and controls our lives. So now you gotta buy whatever it is. And um, this next part, I needed a chalkboard for. You did not, you don't have one of those in here. So um, I filmed it for us. This is in case sex robots do happen. So here are the robot sex rules for smart and decent people like ourselves. Conversation with it, zero. Foreplay with a robot, zero. Checking to see if it has anus is something different. What's anus on chalkboard? Don't look for that. A starfish, maybe. I, man. Okay. I'm just going to go back to our podium for this last part. Oh, wait, hold on, I got a joke. Oh, hold on. I thought I had the joke. I had it? Never mind. Um, let me think of another joke I could do. Just to end, you know, end on something funny here. Robot goes, okay, two robots walk into a bar. One of them had a 12 inch penis peeing. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, robot head, little piano player. And it was 12 inches. The, and the other robot said pianist. And everyone thought, robot must have said penis. Bartender, just, you know, let him uh, have a drink. And There were these two peanuts walking down the street. One was assaulted by, um, not by, it just was. So that, good, that concludes my presentation. Uh, thank you. If either I could help stop sex robots, or if you want, I could do that chalkboard thing at the start of classes. I do this part-time professor or part-time teacher. Oh, I think there's no more like chalkboards around. There's, I could just do this with a video screen. Um, the whole thing be more expensive for you, but that's, it's, I would though, as a kind of a bonus, I'd end it with this. Um, if anyone needed to jack it, uh, masturbate, or the lady version of that, um, tell, I would tell students, just burn a Google Boy Mansion and just stand right there on the driveway and jack it to that. Because um, that's what should be getting us off, if anything. Google Boy's running up, around on fire. And cops know there's no, there's no, this isn't illegal anymore, this is just protest. So is there anything else? You know, any questions? How about um, prostate scam? Anything you want to know about? It's, it's amazing. No one's, they're supposedly they're everywhere and no one's seen one. Uh, any further? You just want to be relaxed like that, all right? Damn it. I was going to wear these, hold on. To be smart looking. So just when you think of, just remember me having these on. 
Okay. Thank you. I'm just pack up. By the way, anything you smell that wasn't from me, it didn't come from this area. Okay.